Well, happy hump day, everybody. This is the Osmer Nail Show. Channel 100, a.k.a. 100, okay? This is where you're going to get the real talk, okay? You're going to get no bull crap now. You're going to get some real talk, okay? Now, I want to first of all apologize for two things, okay? Number one, I told y'all mama had a cold, okay? Grandbaby, mama caught a cold, okay? But I told y'all mama got five kids, honey, so I'm used to the colds and the whatever. And one thing I know, honey, the show must go on, okay? You know how when you was a single mom and everything and, you know, sick or not, honey, your kids depended on a meal and a roof. So you had to get up and go to work, honey, whether you was feeling great or whether you was feeling down in the dumps, okay? So, with that being said, honey, y'all are my family, okay? My fans out there, honey. And so I'm just telling y'all, okay, that sick or not, honey, the show must go on. I'm going to continue to bring it to you real okay sick and all so excuse you know the fact that my voice might be a little bit you know and i might have to you know blow my nose because honey i don't want my nose running on set now i know i'm saying we're gonna keep it 100 but i'm not gonna keep it 100 percent nasty that is not happening okay not on this show all right now so now mama's having water tonight okay Excuse me, I gotta wet my whistle a little bit more than usual, cause honey, I got a cold. Now, I apologize for the fact that my uh, videos have been cutting out on me, honey. My my space is limited because Mama be doing shows and, and back to back, honey. And and as a result of that, um, you know, it, it, it's 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 fighting for space, honey. So what I'm about to do right now is I'm gonna finish telling that story I was telling y'all yesterday and i'm gonna try to do it as quickly as possible honey my videos has been way too long honey 18 20 minutes and all that honey so i'm gonna try to get this stuff out in 10 minutes and get a you know get some good information out but in less amount of time so i'm gonna do my makeup honey while i'm talking to y'all now we back to that story that i was telling y'all about i called the kissing cousins but honey i was wrong let me start the story over it was a couple on paternity court. Now, they wasn't on there to try to find out the paternity of a child, whether the child belonged to the father or not. Honey, let me tell you what happened. The, the girl lived in Pennsylvania. The man lived in Texas, okay? They had a mutual friend, and that's how they met, okay? So they got together, honey, and they um fell in love, honey. I mean, they had pictures. They were showing pictures on the paternity court of when they first got together. They was in love, kissing on the beach, on the, you know, at the park. Wonderful, okay? They got so close, honey, that they ended up moving in together, honey. Well, honey, the family reunion of the lady came up, honey. It was family reunion time. They went to the family reunion, honey, and the man said when he got to the family reunion, his girl's family reunion, honey, he saw some uh, 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 relatives there. Now, mind you, this is her family reunion, but he sees some of his cousins. Well, honey, so, okay, so he's slapping five with, you know, cousin It and cousin, you know, Blick and, you know, Rojo and Ski Mo. Yeah, hey, man, what's up? Long time no see. Okay, well, so the girl was like, you know, People started looking at her a little funny. She just got this feeling. Her family members was looking at her. So finally, a family member pulled her up um, and was like, um, uh, excuse me, uh, but uh, uh, that man <laughs> that you bought here, honey, the man that you introduced as your fiance, uh, that just might be your brother. Okay, now last night I had it mixed up. I said cousin, honey, I didn't mean to say cousin. The family member that pulled her up, which was auntie, told her that, oh boy, okay, her lover, her mind could possibly be her brother. Okay, now what had happened was her father, okay, was with, you know, her mom, living with her mom, Mary. Dad was a, was a, was a truck driver. Okay, so like the guy said, you know, his dad, which they didn't know they had the same dad. His dad was a truck driver, so he had a lot of women out there on the road. And, and you know, he had made some babies out there everywhere. So, what had happened was, 
he apparently, dad had apparently got with the guy's mom at some point and had him. Now, the girl said that, yeah, that she had a lot of brothers and sisters out there, but she never met them all, okay? You know, it was only a few of them that used to come around to grandma's house all the time. So she said that, um, but he, was, he wasn't one of the ones that used to come around to grandma's house. And all she knew was, was that, you know, she did have a brother named Jay, but she didn't know who he was. So when she met her boyfriend, his name was Jeremiah. So she didn't get along just because the man named, you know, first letter start with a J. She didn't assume. <laughs> Speaking of that, honey, she didn't do this. Okay. She didn't assume that because the man's name began with a J, um, that that could possibly be her brother, J. Okay. She did not make a what out herself an ass. Okay. So yeah, she went on with her business of dating this guy, not thinking that, okay, well, hmm, his name start with a J. That's probably my brother. No, she didn't assume. No, she did not. Anyway. Um, okay. So now y'all, this is my primer I'm putting on y'all. I'm getting ready to put on my, um, my shadow. So I'm trying to talk and do all this at the same time. Excuse my little puffball, y'all, but that it is what it is. Let me see what kind of time we working with, honey. Because I know y'all don't like the, these videos to be cutting off, and I apologize, y'all. Truly, I do. But I got a ghetto set up here, okay? But it's real talk, okay? This is 100, a.k.a. 100, okay? So this is what it is. It's ghetto. <laughs> so anyway, yeah. So, yeah. So come to find out, honey, um... So after, you know, the, the, the family member was like, you're going to have to stop. Y'all going to have to stop seeing each other because that might just be your brother. Um, so, you know, when they got home, you know, they started looking at some baby pictures. And then she started seeing like some resemblance of her dad. Like, well, dad, he do look like my father. Well, honey, they was in love. So um, I'm using a palette, y'all. L.A. Colors, okay? And I'm going to use, because I have a little green in my dress here, I'm going to use green, okay? So that's what I'm using, lime green or whatever you want to call it. Anyway, y'all, so yeah, so they was in love. They was living together as a, as a couple. So, you know, they couldn't figure out what they was going to do about the news that they had just heard. So they decided, you know, they were still staying together, but he was going to stay downstairs and she was going to stay upstairs. So while they was in paternity court talking, you know, the judge was like, well, have y'all been back together, you know, in that, in that, um, physical type of way since y'all found out that you could possibly be brothers and sisters? And she said, well, yeah, we did slip up twice, but she said, I love him. So it's hard to, you know, just turn that off. You know, we, we had a, we was in love and we had a, a, a good physical relationship. It was just hard to just turn that off. And, um. So she said, we did slip up twice and um, have sex. Well, honey, in her slip up, <laughs> honey, she got pregnant, okay? She slipped up, had sex twice with her, what they thought could be the brother, honey, and she slipped up and got pregnant, honey. So now we got a whole nother set of problems. So now, here's the problem, okay? Mama pregnant. Now, you know, and y'all have heard I don't know how true it is, honey. These is not my words. This is just what I heard, okay? That if you have a baby with a, a close relative, excuse me, y'all, you know, that the baby could possibly come out with some kind of Down syndrome. So because she was aware of that known fact out there, this is blue, y'all, because I got a little blue in my dress. Um, so anyway, yeah, so she had heard too, like I did, that if you have a baby by a close relative, honey, that you, the, the baby stand a chance of being Down syndrome. So she was like, it was important for her to be in court today to get the results of the paternity test to see if they really are related. Because if they are really related, she was going to. When she had the baby, she was going to get a baby up for adoption because, you know, she said the baby might have Down syndrome, you know, by them being related. So the test that they was on the paternity court to take was really important because this was going to determine, uh, honey, I'm calling myself blending all this stuff together, honey. <laughs> and when you blend them together, guess what I come up with? A hot ass mess. <laughs> Excuse me, y'all, for my, uh, a French. But that's okay because guess what? Mama love me, okay? 
Yeah, hot mess or not, honey. You got to love yourself, honey. Regardless of what the rumor mill say, honey, you got to love yourself, honey. Ain't nobody going to love you like you love yourself. And then on top of that, you can't love nobody, honey. If you don't love yourself first, you have no love to give if you don't have love for your own self, okay? How about mama got off on a tangent on something else? <laughs> All right, so there we go. We That's what we rocking today, okay? Yeah, we rocking a little whatever. Now, let's do a little lippy. <laughs> I learned that term here lately, y'all. Lippy. <laughs> I love that. My lippy for the day. Now, I already got my, my liner on, y'all. And um, I got my um, moisturizer, which is chapstick. Moisturizer, a.k.a. chapstick, on my lips already. So, all I have to do is put a color on, honey. It, it's going to be my lippy of the day. <laughs> I love that. So anyway, y'all, I guess y'all say that's why her stuff be cutting off. Because she be running her mouth and she be all over the place. Yep, I sure do because that's what I choose to do. <laughs> so anyway, y'all, um, okay, yeah. So anyway, y'all, the lippy of the day is going to be a mint green since I have a little green on. And I got some glittery glitter gloss and it's kind of green. So I'm going to use that. As my lippy for the day. Yeah, honey. So, lo and behold, thank God, come to find out, um, they, they, you know, one of them, now the sad part is now, they come to find out they were not actually brothers and sisters. But guess what? Somebody got some explaining to do, okay? Because the same man that he know as his father is the same man that she know as her father, okay? So, the test said that they weren't related. But both of their mamas said that that man was the father, okay? So now they got to go back home and find out, well, mama, is this really my daddy? Because if those two say these, this is my father and it's the same man, something ain't right. Because they really not related. They got the test done and they not related. And they was, they was really happy because that meant they didn't have to really break up. And she's actually going to keep her baby. So it really ended in a wonderful story for them. But, honey, some questions got to be answered, honey. So you got to be careful, honey, when you thinking you being slick, honey, and you sleeping with Joe, Mo, and Blow, honey, and um, you end up getting pregnant. You don't know who the father is. And 20 years go by, and you think you in the clear, honey. Oh, yeah, honey, he took care of that baby. He don't need to know it wasn't his, honey. And then something like this happened. So it's important to know who your family is, honey. It's important to have them family reunions, Okay. Because that could have happened to that can happen to anybody, okay? I'll use myself as an example, keeping it one hundred, okay? My daddy was a Rolling Stone, okay, and and my daddy got a bunch of children that I have never laid eyes on, okay? To this day, I don't know if I've ever even dated um a, a relative. I mean, I'm sorry, a brother. I mean, I don't know. Because I haven't met all the children that my dad had. My dad was on east side, west side. He was on in the service, honey, over in Iraq and all them different places. He got babies all over the place. Okay, so I have no idea. And I could have easily have ran into a, a brother and didn't know that he was my brother. So thank God, far as I know, that hasn't happened. But it's that, my point is it's important to know who your peoples are. Okay, because you don't want to ever have no situation like that where you fall in love with somebody and bam. You got to break up because you found out that was your cousin or your brother. Okay? Mm. Yeah, honey. So that was the hot topic for today, honey. Continuation of a story I started yesterday. All right, y'all. So, yeah, I'm going to get off of here, y'all, so I can come back and do another video, okay? Um, If you like, hit like if it's available for you to do so. Comment if you wish, honey, if that's available. Um, And hit subscribe, honey. That's always available, okay? And if you want to get some real talk, Okay, from the channel 100, a.k.a. 100, the Eyes Married Now Show, honey. Hit subscribe, honey. That's always available, honey. And all this will come straight to your email inbox, okay? Your channel feed will be off the chain with Eyes Married Now. And sometimes Eyes Married Now going to do lippies. <laughs> all right, y'all. If y'all want to see lippies and a whole bunch of other stuff from Eyes Married Now, hit subscribe, honey. All right, y'all. I'll talk to y'all in the next video. Goodbye.